conduction of industry and company analysis. Let us take a few questions. Question number one says, in which sector would refining be classified? We know industry classification is based on the activity. So it is energy sector. B is the right answer. Question number two says, an industry that most likely has both low barriers to entry and low barriers to exit is which of these hospitality, oil industry, automobile. We know for automobile industry large investments need to be made. Similarly for oil industry also there will be high entry barriers. For hospitality industry the entry barriers and exit barriers are not that high. So A is the right answer. Let us move to question number three. It says which of the following life cycle phases is typically characterized by high prices and slow growth. As we know in the first phase the growth is very slow and the prices are higher. First phase which is embryonic phase is going to have high prices and slow growth. So C is the right answer. If you look at the maturity phase the prices will be stable there not high prices and growth will be slow while in growth phase growth will be high but the prices will be falling so A and B are not the right answer let us look at question number 4 it says which of the following is least likely correct for cyclical firms so earnings are highly sensitive on the stages of business cycle that is correct for cyclical firms the earnings will be sensitive to the business cycle stage these firms have high leverage and high volatility related to earnings this is also true that most likely these companies will have high leverage and high volatility because of the business cycle. Option C says goods and services produced by these firms do well in economic downturns. This is wrong. Since they are dependent on the business cycle during economic downturns they do not do well. So C is the right option. Question number 5 says which of the following is not explained by Porter's 5 forces. We know threat of new entrants is one of the 5 forces. Rivalry among existing competitors is one of the forces. Then there is threat of substitute. Then there is bargaining power of buyers and bargaining power of suppliers. So these were the 4 forces. The threat of government intervention is not one of the Porter's five forces. So B is the right answer. Now let us move to question number six. Which of the following is most likely a significant external influence on industry growth? We have looked at all the external factors which can affect the industry growth. Technology is one of them. Threat of substitute product or supplier bargaining power are not the external factors they are one of the Porter's five forces so A is the right answer so that has brought us to